Uh, I've not been in the best of spirits lately, just for private reasons. I'm just going to say that. I've actually not been on the channel very much because I'm just kind of uh, going through some uh, crap right now. I don't, I don't really talk. I don't really want to talk about it too much because um, a lot of it is like just talks of stuff and we're not really moving forward on stuff and when it actually gets to a point where we're moving forward on stuff or if we even move forward on stuff at all um then we can uh, then i can make a video announcing it you know i don't want to get everyone hyped up and be like oh my gosh and then nothing happens uh, but yeah i it just i'm just letting you know that that my videos are just not been uh up lately um I, i've uploaded a lot on my second channel lately though just a lot of videos there because they're a lot easier of videos that i just want to make for fun and you know reviews actually take time and it's just a lot of energy of course i've still been uploading here just you know not as much as usual um for that reason i still have a lot of movies i need to watch i just uh, you know my dad just got me this uh yesterday i did a video on this actually on my second channel casablanca didn't review it because that would be a video i upload here uh probably will watch the other jungle books tonight uh when i stay up late to watch hamilton which is releasing this friday uh or at the time recording this is tomorrow uh, but yeah, I was going to go to the theater, uh, but my theaters are actually closed for the 4th of July, I believe. So, you know, they're closed for that whole weekend. So I can't even go, which is messed up because they had a whole list of movies that they were going to be showing. And now they're not even showing them. Like, what the hell what was that about? But yeah, I got to still watch this. I've had this for so long. It's done watched it. I don't know. I still have this. Co I have this copy of Sleeping Beauty. I've never watched. Um, my dad gave me that because he, there was actually a deal on Disney Steelbooks, and he thought he didn't have a copy on it. And I think it was Best Buy. Yeah, it was Best Buy because Best Buy has tons of Steelbooks, and they overstocked on him, and so it was like five bucks for like a Best Buy exclusive Disney movie. Yeah, like. Go for it. But he thought I didn't have Sleeping Beauty. And I was like, no, you have it. And then he's like, oh, well, I guess you can just have it now. So it was cool of him to do that. I still have this copy of Sherlock, uh, the Guy Ritchie one to watch. I need to watch, I need to get Game of Shadows and watch that. So I'm probably going to wait till I get the copy of that movie. And the first one and the second one are releasing on 4K. So it's kind of dumb to buy that movie. But I ended up doing it. I still need to watch it. Big Top Scooby-Doo. Uh, my aunt let me have this song. I got to watch that. I think that's out of print too, so I'm happy to have that. Uh, I'm still going to watch Aquaman. I just bought this at a Goodwill recently. Uh, Man of on Fire. No, nothing about that. Um, I still have to watch this Ernest and these uh, Great Migration DVDs. I don't know I'm going to watch those. I'm actually going to get started on Batman the Animated Series as soon as I watch some other things i got to watch right now. i got to watch this Paper Towns movie. Not looking forward to that, honestly. I don't think it's going to be that great, but it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I'm like, okay, I was going to watch it at some point anyways. Might as well just, you know, pick it up for a dollar. But True Grit, True Grit. i got to watch uh, Anaconda here. i got to do that. Um, i got to do... The Kickboxer, Vengeance, It, uh, The Double, Number, Station, and The Warlords. A lot of movies there. Um, I gotta watch, uh, I did the Mothra, I do need to watch, my dogs are barking, I am so sorry about that. I need to watch this Roxanne copy still. I need to watch, uh, I need to watch Rudy and, uh, Dirty Dance in Hawaiian Nights. So I gotta watch all those movies. Uh, we gotta do that too. So it's a lot of movies. A lot of movies. And, um, I gotta record that stuff and do that. Um, let me see. Here.
Where is it? Um, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, I gotta watch Doctor Who at some point, too. Uh, but, no, that's not what I was looking for. You know what? It's Independence Day. Um, you know, it's Independence Day coming up. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, but, yeah, I gotta review Independence Day. I gotta call my brother. I gotta call my liar. Ah, forget my liar. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to put all these movies back now. Um... But they did announce when the new Phineas and Ferb movie was coming out, which I didn't... I don't think they announced a date until just now. Um, but yeah, the film is releasing uh, October... Not October. What is wrong with me today? I'm going blank. Um, it's releasing... Uh, when did it say? Uh, October... Uh, no, August 28th. Um, so I'm going to watch Phineas and Ferb and try to get through Milo, Milo Smurphy's Law and get through it. Because um, from the poster, it's revealed that Dr. Doofensmirks is actually in it. Which I didn't expect because he's already in um, Milo Murphy's Law. And so I thought there was just going to be a solo Phineas and Ferb adventure. Which you really haven't got that much of throughout the series. I mean, you kind of did. But it's really more of like, let's show off the cool inventions the boys have or something like that, you know? And uh, you didn't see a lot of the other stuff that they did. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Point is, like, it's coming out. Um, but what I mean is, like, in the show, they kind of, after a while, realized, you know what? It's, the show can't be about Phineas and Ferb forever and they kind of switched the show to be more about the side characters which is cool the side characters are great but like it's Phineas and Ferb you know and um they can focus more on parody and crap which is all right I like that character I'm okay with that and I think it was to the show's benefit for how long it ran but I just you know I was thinking man we're gonna get a solo Phineas and Ferb kind of adventure and now we're not getting that. Um, which I'm not like, man, that sucks. That's a horrible thing that they're doing. I get why they're doing it. I'm fine with it. Um, we'll see how the film turns out. I'm actually excited for it. Again, I'm going to rewatch every single episode of Phineas and Ferb, do reviews on that. I'm also going to watch the movie probably tonight because I, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm staying up late to watch the new Hamilton movie. Um, cause what I like to do is when I'm aware of something that's releasing, I like to stay up late and put out a review that day for you guys, uh, or that night. Cause then when you wake up in the morning, it's in your feed and, um, you know, I want to be one of the earlier reviews, uh, up so, you know, I can get views and some people might say, you know, I, wow, a YouTuber does things just to get views. That's kind of sad, but like... Every YouTuber does that, okay? I may not do that in every sense. Like, I clearly don't get the amount of views I would like, okay? But I'm just saying, I like having early reviews of stuff so they, you know, so I can make videos for you guys. Um, so, so, you know, and I don't know. I like having that, and so I'm going to watch it uh, tonight. We'll see how that Hamilton movie shows it turns out. It, re it really just looks like what Cats did, so if you don't know... Uh, there's the Cats movie, and there's actually another direct-to-video Cats movie. And that movie is just the Broadway play, but they, like, filmed it, like, with, with high-quality cameras. So, you know, it's just the exact... So it's, like, the same as watching the Broadway play, but in your house, um, which is cool, I guess, but, like... You know, I'm just saying, it's the Broadway play. So if you're not into the Broadway play, probably shouldn't watch the movie. Um, I've never seen the Broadway play, so I know nothing about the Broadway play. I've heard it's good. I just haven't watched it uh, because I don't get, I don't live in an area where I can go to Broadway plays easily. Broadway plays are expensive and things like that. And yet the you know, always want to be nice and well dressed up. There's a whole kind of attitude behind Broadway plays and how you and should be there and what, it, what it's like. So yeah, I just haven't done it um, for that reason. And yeah, I'm just, I don't know, never been there, never done it, um, 
one day I do want to start going to more Broadway plays, but again, they are very expensive and there's kind of a culture and an atmosphere behind that type of stuff. And so I, you know, I kind of, I don't want to say like, I'm like, I'm not going to a Broadway play, but like, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of stuff there behind it. Now, I think it's interesting to say the least, I guess, but yeah, I, I'm checked. I want to check out this movie and see if it's any good. Um, I apologize for me just moving stuff in the background that you can't see, but it's just like, I don't know. I gotta have this stuff put away, you know. I obsess over my movie collection. If it's not completely in order, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, so, I might be taking a break from album reviews right now. I just don't think I'm ready to do that. And my last one about Kiss, I thought was going to get more views, and it didn't. And it kind of made me bummed out, and I, I don't know. I, I don't really have as much passion for making them as I thought I did. And so maybe I might even quit. I don't want to necessarily say I'm going to quit, though. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, though. Maybe I might do the ones I said I was going to do, finish those, but just take my time on them. And then from there, if I decide to quit... That's what I'll do, but I'm not exactly sure if that's what I want to do. Um, I'm not even really sure what I want to do right now. Like I said, I'm kind of just going through some stuff right now. You know, I had a guinea pig who died uh, this week. I got two others, but the one ended up being sick, so we got them. So I got a new one, well, two new ones, and the one, uh, one of the two new ones got sick. So it's like one died, one got sick. What, what do we got going on here? So, I don't know. I just, you know, it's just like, oh my gosh. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just emotionally drained this week. Um, I was looking forward to going to the movies this weekend and enjoying myself. But, nope, that's not happening because the 4th of July. Which, very patriotic American right here. So, I mean, I can't complain. But, it's just like, still, I, I, you know, I just like, dang it. And, uh, yeah, um, but we'll see what goes on. I actually still need to, uh, download this, like, the CDs in this, the actual disc, onto my, uh, phone, and so I can check out the audiobook, because I kind of want to do a review for that stuff. Um, in terms of, like, unboxings right now, I, 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 in terms of that, I got a big, like, I don't even... So I ordered two 10 inch pops off the Funko shop. It was like a sale. It was like, so normally what I pay for a 10 inch pop is $30. Okay, so it's usually $30. And uh, it's usually $30 and you get it in and they're 10 inch, they're huge. They're really big. So $30 isn't really a bad deal for the price and the size of those things. Uh, plus I pay like $10 for a four inch. Uh, sometimes five. If I, but that's usually when they're on sale or I get them at a deal. I pay like three for some of them sometimes. But for the most part, I pay like if you're gonna buy one off of Amazon or Walmart or like Target, it'd be like ten bucks, right? That's in the United States, anyways. You know, but that's where that's you know. But every time I talk about prices of anything combined, I'm an American, so that's the uh, dealio. But, yeah, I, I, I kind of was like, um, on the Funko Shop, I don't get a lot of Funko Shop exclusives. Number one, they're hard to get. They sell out. And um, the other part of it is, even if it doesn't sell out, it will eventually sell out. Because they make them, every single one of their exclusives limited in numbers. And so, yeah, I just don't want a pop that is eventually going to be worth a lot of money uh it'd be cool if i had a bunch of expensive pops uh based on stuff i really like but i don't like keeping stuff in box i have four pops here that are in box and two of them are autographed i have over a hundred pops around here that are all out of box so because i feel like you can't see the details as well if it's in box and stuff like that so i just kind of like yeah, but I don't, I don't want to keep them in box. It's nice, 
but it's not nice enough for me to even really be like, yeah, that's what I want to do with my pops. And so, um, I just haven't got a lot of them. The other part of it is the pricing. Like Amazon, we have Amazon Prime, so we don't have to deal with shipping. And I usually get things really cheap on Amazon and stuff like that. You know, Funko Shop, shop stuff doesn't really go on sale that often. Uh, except for like holidays, but like at the holidays, you don't want to order stuff because you're worried about buying gifts for people and stuff. Um, so, you know, you, you know, you don't want to deal with that. Um, so I went on, uh, so I was going to order a copy, like a hardcover collector's edition of Doom, which I'll probably order that like next month and get it. Um, but I love Dune. It's a great book. And I enjoy the movie, even though the movie is not accurate to the book or nearly as good as the book at all. Um, but it is it is really good, and you should read Dune if you've never read it. And if you watch the movie and you like movies like Cole or like The Dark Crystal, you actually probably might actually like it. I'm not sure. It's kind of a hard sell, um, but yeah. Uh, but instead, they had Cthulhu, and I love Cthulhu. I have like an HP Lovecraft box set. You know what Cthulhu is? He's like a monster from HP Lovecraft novels, um, specifically from his book Call of the Cthulhu, or Call of Cthulhu and Other Stories. That's kind of what the name of the book is. Um, and you, um, and so, you know, it was one I really wanted, but I never got it. It was 10 inch, went on sale for 15 bucks. So they have multiple 10 inch pops on sale. So I went and grabbed, I went and grabbed, um, Cthulhu. And then I also went and grabbed, what did I grab? Another, the 10 inch Notorious B.I.G. Cause my other one, I got rid of it cause it, I bought it broken. Wasn't my fault. I guess someone at Walmart took it out of the box and broke it. And so, yeah, I had to break it. So, so I got it for th 37 bucks, counting shipping and tax. So it should be here by, I think, um, I don't even know. I don't know. I've never bought anything out the Funko shop, honestly. And I, so I have no idea when it's going to show up. I'm just in the process of waiting. And I don't know. I, as far as I know, they haven't alerted me of any, uh, like, shipping out date when it's going to be here. So, we'll see. I'm excited to have those. Uh, super excited to have those pops. And I will definitely do a boxing of those. Uh, but besides that, that's all I've really been doing. Um, you know, I probably won't make too many videos over the next, over the weekend. Because, you know, I got a lot going on. And, you know, 4th of July, family stuff, you know, it's my brother's birthday this weekend, stuff like that. So, you know, I just kind of, like, don't want to be on the channel that much right now. And I'm probably, you know, I'll definitely have a video about Hamilton this weekend. I'm going to try to watch Independence Day this weekend. I tried it last year and it never actually worked out, but I'm really going to try. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, but, yeah, I have a lot going on. I'm a busy man. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go die on the floor. And I'm hoping that you need to think it's better because I'm really bummed out about it, but...